started taking piano lessons when I was four years old and I don't really remember ever starting to learn. Um, to me it feels like I've always known how to play the piano um, and I think it was about when I was 10 or 11 that I really started being really serious about the piano and um, I thought this was something I wanted to do with my life. I wanted to become a concert pianist. What really impressed me was how how professional he was when he was so young. I first met him and when he was 14, and he was accompanist for two of my Gilbert and Sullivan shows, I was just amazed at how well he could accompany the cast with those songs because they're very difficult. My Devin's always been a high achiever. He were, he's always a hard worker when he's playing the piano or anything he's pursued. It's been, it's been great. When he was young, he certainly kept us hopping, driving or flying with him to auditions and competitions across the province, country, or the continent. He's been fortunate to have had the support of many wonderful piano teachers, as well as being able to work with accomplished leaders in the arts community like Arlene Blundell, who had faith in his ability. He's won so many awards for his music playing, and... Um, and he's so generous with, with his talent. I always felt such a strong support from the community. I had so many opportunities from a young age to perform, um, to play um, for Gilbert and Sullivan operettas, to accompany choirs. Um, and there were always so many people um, that would come to my performances and it was really exciting to be able to share music with them and to see um, how, how my playing really affected so many people um, and how it could brighten their day. And, um, Nanaimo was really a special place. That's where I got my start. I would play in the Upper Island Music Festival every year, um, and that's what sent me off to the provincials and the nationals um, and really jump-started my career. I'm not a pianist, and I'm not a musician. I directed musicals at, um, at the Port and at Nanaimo Theatre Group and in Duncan and, and around, and, and I've always loved music. I don't know, I can sort of tell when somebody's playing really well, when the emotion is coming through, when the um, spirit of the uh, composer seems to be there. Um, and um, I felt this with Devin right from the first time. I finished my medical school education last year and um, I'm currently um, in my ophthalmology residency at Monitor Medical Center in New York. Um, so during all this time, um, my studies have kept me really busy and um, it's hard to find that much time to play the piano. But going through medical school, I was involved with um, a lot of other medical students who were musicians um, and we organized concerts to play for each other um, and to perform in the hospital for patients. And um, it's been really rewarding for me to be able to continue my passion for music um, while exploring medical school and all of that. Um, and I think that piano has always been a really important part of my life and it will continue to do so. Um, and once I'm finished with my residency, I really want to be able to um, continue performing um, and fundraising for uh, medical research um, and sharing music with people as I know it's, it's a, a really amazing thing to um, help heal people, um, both with my medical skills and also with music. Receiving the Excellence in Culture Award from the City of Nanaimo is such an incredible honor. Um, to be recognized as part of the cultural fabric of the city where I grew up 
um, is just really special for me. Um, I know that so many people in Nanaimo have been supportive of my career in music and it's always such a pleasure to come home and, and to play for people in Nanaimo and to share all my music with them. Mm -hmm.